First alert, if you've ever had a common cold or flu, you want to know about this. Nasal decongestants could be taken off the market if they're not found to be effective. Aisha's at the First Alert Safety Desk. So what have you learned about this? Well, Tammy, I'm learning this morning an FDA advisory committee is meeting to talk about it this week, specifically the effectiveness of an ingredient in some common nasal decongestants. It's an oral formula called phenylephrine. It's found in some forms of over-the-counter medications. We've heard these, Dayquil, Mucinex, Sudafed, PE. There are no concerns with safety, just effectiveness. The FDA has found through clinical trials that oral phenylephrine, or PE for short, does not improve nasal congestion any more than a placebo. That's at least at the dose it's marked for over-the-counter when you buy it at the store. The FDA again meeting this week. The committee will go over any data, then decide if it stays on the market. Consumer Healthcare Products Association represents manufacturers that make over-the-counter medications. It's concerned over taking PE off the market, urging the FDA to be mindful of how this could affect people who use it. So they'll be taking all of that into consideration this week. Doctors suggest when it comes to treating cold and flu symptoms like nasal congestion, sometimes less is more. Having a humidifier during the dry months of the year is a good tip. Also using nasal saline and staying hydrated. Coming up in the next half hour, if you consider yourself a night owl, there's a new study that says you could be at risk for type 2 diabetes. I'll explain why, Tammy. All right, Aisha, thank you.